عبادك الأيام فتا وتنح علامات الاسم We're now going to go into the signs that a noun is known for. This is the speech of who? Ibn Ajurrum, the Musannif. قال فالاسم يعرف بالخفض والتنوين ودخول الألف واللام وحروف الخف وحروف الخفض وهي من وإلى وعن وعلى وفي ورب والباء والكاف واللام وحروف القسم وحروف القسم وهي الواو والباء والتاء The author he said the علامات of the noun is فالاسم أي noun يعرف it is known it is known to have الخفض خفض We're going to go inshallah ta'ala what it means والتنوين the second sign is what? It's a تنوين the third one which is what? ودخول الألف واللام and the entering of the ألف and the Lam, that's a na- sign known uniquely for the noun. Four, وحروف الخفض And the entering of these word letters. These letters, they go before a noun. Whenever you see these particles, whenever you see these particles, these huruf, remember what comes after is a noun. Min, ila, an, ala, fi, rubba, ba, kaf, lam, and also al waw والباء والتاء which are known as حروف القسم so حروف الخفض and حروف القسم so four signs the author gave to us that a noun is known if you see these signs you I automatically know that this is a what it's a ism that it's a ism the first sign that he mentioned is what الخفض خفض is a sign of a noun the second one is التنوين the second one is what تنوين The third one is the entering. دخول الألف واللام ألف and lam entering onto a word indicates that it's a noun. Four, حروف الخفض حروف الخفض These حروف, these particles they only go before a noun. That's a sign for the noun. So you look before it and then automatically you know that is a noun. And they are what? من, إلى, عن, على, في, رب, باء كاف and لام and also the three حروف القسم which is الواو والباء والتاء now we're going to go into the شرح of الشيخ محمد محيدين عبد الحميد the شرح وأقول I will say who say that محمد محيدين عبد الحميد وأقول I will say للإسم علامات the اسم has signs يتميز عن أخويه In which it becomes distinct. Yatamayyazu means what? It becomes distinct from its two brothers. Who are they? Al fi'li wal harfi. It becomes distinct from a verb and a particle. Bi wujudi wahidatin minha o kabuliha. How does it become distinct? By the presence of any of those four that were mentioned or the fact that it can accept it. وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ الْمُؤَلِّفُ And the author, meaning who? Ibn Ajurrum. رحمه الله, the author mentions مِنْ هَذِهِ الْعَلَامَاتِ From the signs that the noun has, the author only mentions أربع علامات, four signs only. وَهِيَ And they are, one, الخفض, two, التنوين, three, دخول الألف واللام, فوق حروف دخول حروف الخ... دخول حرف من حروف الخفض دخول حرف من حروف الخفض Those are the four signs The author mentions those So the noun becomes distinct from the verb and from the particle by any one of those four being in present in it Or the fact that he can accept it if you want, you can put it there. That is the evidence to show this is a noun. And those four are what? Al-Khafdu, 
والتنوين ودخول الألف واللام ودخول حرف من حروف الخفض. Those four. And now we're going to stand over each one of those four. The first one. أما الخفض as for خفض فهو في اللغة in the language it means ضد الارتفاع. It is the opposite of going up. For example, ارتفاع means to go up. خفض means what? To go down. It's the opposite of going up. Are you with me? وفي اصطلاح النحات As for the grammarians, the way that they've defined it is what? عبارة عن الكسرة التي يحدثها العامل أو ما ناب عنها They said it is that the kasra alati yuhdithuha which it brings the amil and they were going to take the amil later inshallah ta'ala that causes it. There are only how many amils that cause the ism to become makhfud or majroor is how many amil? We took it, we took it before previously. There inshallah ta'ala we're going to come to it. It's three. It is either حرف من حروف الخفض. The second one is إضافة. And the third one is تبعية. If it's a بدل, عطف, a توكيد, ها, or a نعت. If it's a بدل, if it's توكيد, if it's a نعت, which is a صفة, ها, or if it's عطف. Those four. That's one. The second one is if it's إضافة, if it's مضاف مضاف إليه, and the third one is حروف الخفض if they go before it. This is the عام they cause it the ism to become what? مخفوض. A jurumi will bring it for us, inshallah. I don't really want to bring everything all at once at you. I don't want to. But scholars, other scholars, they said the reason why the word خفض was used by the grammarians is because when the person pronounces it. His bottom lip goes down. Bayti. Bayti. Your bottom lip goes down. And the word khafdi means what? Diddul irtifai. It's the opposite to go up. So the bottom lip goes down when the person says it. And that is when, it, without a doubt, that is only when it's upon the asal. And we know the khafd is what? We divide it into what? Asl and manaba anha. The asr is the kasra. Ma naba anha is those who take place of it. And we're going to come to it, inshaAllah ta'ala, later when we speak about alamat al-khafdi. Very good. Wa fi istilahin nuhati. And according to the, the, the way that the grammarians agreed upon is what? Ibaratun anil kasrati. It is a kasra. Alati yuhdithuha. What causes it is one of the three amils that I just mentioned to you. أو ما ناب عنها أو anything that takes its place. وذلك and that is مثل كسرة الراء من بكر. It is like the كسرة that falls in the word بكر. Look at the word بكر. You said. وذلك and that is the example for that is what مثل كسرة الراء من بكر. بكر is what has a كسرة in there. وعمرن and also عمرن. For example, you say في نحو قولك like in your speech you will say مررت ببكرن. Why is بكر here مجرور here right now? First of all, because حرف من حروف الخفض went before it, which is the ب. And بكر is a noun. It's a, Bakr is a noun. How do we know it's a noun? One, one, one sign, one alama to show that it's a noun is what? The ba went before it. The second evidence to show that it's a noun is what? The kasra that went into it or the khaf that went into it. So you say, marar tu. Marra is what? It's a fi'il. Madi mabniun ala sukuni. Littisalihi. ضمير الرفع المتحرك 
ذا تاء از وات ضمير ضمير الرفع المتحرك اه uh, what place does it start what the ta by itself is the muf is the fa'il is the subject and then the ba is harf jar and the bakrin is majrur and alamatul jar is a kasra because his ism mufrad and the ism mufrad is majrur with what the ism mufrad is majrur bil kasra na'am marartu bi bakrin i came by bakrin so bakrin why is what khaf it's khaf what made it khaf عامل one before it something calls it to be which is the ba and we'll speak about that later in more details وقولك and your speech هذا كتاب عمر this is the book of who the book of who the book of عمر هذا this كتاب is the book عمر is the book of who عمر عمر here right now is what عمر here is what عمر هي is مجرور أما مخفوض the word مجرور and مخفوض are the same they're both the same one is used by مخفوض is used by أهل كوفة and أهل بصرة they call it مجرور good so عمر هي is مضاف مضاف إليه sorry كتاب which is the book has been ascribed to the ownership of عمر عمر is مجرور now the عامل that caused it to be مجرور is the مضاف so you say هذا كتاب عمر The second one is بكر وعمر عمر هي is مجرور for what reason? Because it's معطوف It is connected to بكر who already had it Who had the جر in it اسماني They are two nouns لوجود الكسرة في آخر كل واحد منهما Both of them have it بكر is مجرور عمر is مجرور so what, what do we learn from this? What we learn is that a noun accepts a jar or a kasra. We're going to learn the difference between those, inshallah ta'ala. The second alama that is known for is what? At-tanweenu. Wa amma at-tanweenu, as for the tanween. Fawa fi al-lughati tasweetu. The word, the tanween, in the language it is at-tasweetu. Tasweet means what? It is the noise that the bird makes, the chirping no noise that the birds make. It's called tasweet. Like the Arabs, they say, نَوَّنَتْ طَائِرُ نَوَّنَتْ طَائِرُ أي صوت الطائر. The bird made a noise. It made that noise. The noise that the birds make. Nah. Good. That's what it means. وَفِي اصْطِلَاحِ النُّحَاتِ But as for the grammarians, this is what they call it. They call it نون ساكنة تتبع آخر الاسم لفظا وتفارقه خطا للاستغناء عنها بتكرار الشكلة عند الضبط بالقلم. What does تنوين mean according to the grammarians? What do they know it as? They know it as نون ساكنة تتبع آخر الاسم لفظا. Take the word بيت. Let's put a تنوين. بيت. Put a تنوين in the end. بي when you pronounced it, what is at the ending? A noon that has a sukun on it. But that, I pay attention. The noon is sakina. Tatba'u akhir al ismi. It follows the ending of the noun lafzan only when you're pronouncing it. You can only hear that noon when you're what? Pronouncing it. Wa tufariquhu, but it doesn't show khattan when you're writing it. When you write it baytun, you're not going to write a noon. You're not going to write a noon which is sakina. You're just going to you're going to draw the what? The 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 tanween of the dhamma. Are you with me? Why? Why does it not show? Lilistighna'i anha because we don't need to. We're sufficed from it. Bitikrari shaklati inda dhabd bil qalami. Because of the repetition of this that symbol by itself, the tanween takes the place of the noon. It doesn't need to be written. But when you're pronouncing it, you need to hear it. So you say, Baytun Qala Mun. Very good. Nahu like Muhammadin Kitabin. Kitabin. Waihin. وَإِيهِنْ وَصَهِّنْ 
ومسلمات وفاطمات وحينئذ وساعتئذ all of these are what they are words كلها all of it uh, they are nouns all of them are nouns why are they nouns somebody asks you where's your delil where's your evidence for it you say بدليل وجود التنوين because the tanween is present في آخر كل كلمة منها every word at the ending there is a a tanween so Muhammad is a name, the name of a man kitab is what is the name of a it's a name of a book ihin is carry on when you say somebody ha sahin is silent muslimatin a lot of female women fatimatin a lot of fatima hina at that time sa'ata idhin at that time as well fa'adhi al kalimat all of those are tanween uh, so all of those are now sorry why because all of them they accept what Tanween at the ending. Very good. So we have what? How many alamas have we taken so far that the Sheikh has mentioned? We've mentioned two. What were they? Al Khafdu. And the second one was what? At Tanween. Now we're going to go to the third, which is called what? Which is Alama to Thalitha. Al Alama to Thalitha to. The third alama. Min Alamatil Ismi from the now from the signs of the noun. The alama to thalitha to the third alama from the signs. Alama is a sign. Third sign from the signs of the noun is duhul duhulu al for al to enter it. Fi awwal al kalimati the beginning of the word. Nahu like what? Arrajulu. The word was what? Rajulun. You put alif al lam before it. It became Clear to the people that it's a now now. Al Ghulamu, the boy. If somebody asks you, Al Rajul is it a noun? You say yes. Why? Because Alif Lam is in it. Al Ghulamu is it a noun? You say yes. What's your evidence? Because Alif Lam is in it. Al Fara Ghulam is a boy. Al Fara Su is the horse. Horse. Somebody asks you, is it a noun? You say yes. What's your evidence? Alif Lam went ent entered it. Or Alif al is in it. Al-Kitabu. Al-Kitabu. The book. Is it a noun? You say yes. What's your evidence? Alif al entered it. Alif al entered it. Wal-Baytu. Al-Baytu. House. The house. Is it a noun? You say yes. What's your evidence that it's a noun? You're going to say Alif al entered it. Al-Madrasatu, the school. Alif Alam entered it. Somebody asked you and said to you, is this a noun? You say yes. What's your evidence? Alif Alam is in there. These words, kulluha asma, all of them are nouns. Why? Lidukhul al-alif wal-lam fi awwaliha. At the beginning, Alif Alam entered it. And that's a sign for who? For the noun. Alamatu rabi'atu, the fourth sign. Duhulu, the entering. Harfin, min huruf al khafdi. The entering of a particle from the particles which cause the noun to become makhfuv. The hab tu. Min al bayti ila al madrasati. So here we have what? The hab tu. Fi'lan fa'il. ذهب في الماضي مبني على الفتح أو يمكن سي مبني على السكون. Both ways you can say it. The ta is what ضميره ضمير الرفع المتحرك. Where is it standing? لكن في محل رفع فاعل. And it's مبني على السكون. من من البيت. هيا. The word من البيت. The word من is what? The word min is what? Min al bayti. Min al bayti is a harf min huruf al khafdi. It's mabni. Mabni ala ish. Mabni ala sukun. But why there's, why there's a fatha there? Liltika is sakinayni. The reason why mina became a fatha is liltika is sakinayni.